God gives a great piece of advice in the book of 2 Kings chapter 20 verse 1. The Bible says like this, In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death, and prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, came to him, and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. You see, the key here, the point here is this, set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. In the sense, before our death, we need to put our house in order. That is the information, that is the key, that is the tip here. Put your house in order. My brother, my sister, my friend, we never know when we may have to say goodbye to this world. It's coming, but we never know. It can be sooner or later. Nobody knows, nobody knows, nobody knows. But after that is the judgment. That's what we read in the book of Hebrews, chapter 9, verse 27. It is appointed for all men to die once, and then comes judgment. My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Always remember, no one else can help anyone. No one can help anyone on the day of judgment. When we stand before God, it will be only you and God. That's it. That's it. There won't be anybody to help you or support you or to back you up. There won't be anybody. It will be only between you and God. So, put your house in order. Because we all live a most uncertain life, not knowing when it may come to an end. That's what God makes it very clear in the book of Romans chapter 14 verse 12. That reads like this, Every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. Every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. You got it? God makes it very clear. It will be an individual account settling. You got it? You and God. That's it. That's it. So stop taking life on earth for granted. Don't think that you can live the way you want. You can, you may, but it's coming. The final audit is coming. The final judgment is coming. Wake up my brother, my sister, my friend. Stop taking your life for granted. Don't think that you can do whatever you want. Don't think like that. Many, many, many are living a life like that because of ignorance. Because of ignorance. In Isaiah 5, 13, God says like this, My people are gone into captivity for lack of knowledge. Ignorance will bind us. Ignorance will handcuff us. Remember that. Many people are bound in their spirit, but they do not know. And in the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6, six God says like this, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Ignorance will destroy you. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Bible is God in word. That's what we read in the book of John, chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God. You got it? The Holy Bible 
is nothing but God in word. See, in the book of John chapter 14 verse, John chapter 12 verse 48, Jesus said like this, He that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words hath one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. You got it? Jesus himself was telling. He that rejecteth me, he that rejecteth Jesus, and receiveth not my words, receiving not the Bible, hath one that judgeth him, the word that I have spoken, Bible, the word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. You got it? My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. Wake up, wake up. Stop taking your life for granted. We all are given an opportunity to live in this world for a very short period, for a very short time. That's it. We all know when we were born and we never know when we may die. Nobody knows when they may die. Nobody knows. Only God. So we all live a most uncertain life, not knowing when it may come to an end. If that is the case, how much we should be prepared to meet God. You got it? How much we all should put our house in order. My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. Put your house in order. Put your house in order. Why? Anytime we may have to meet God face to face. It is appointed for all men to die once. And comes judgment. Always remember that. Mind your thoughts. Mind your intents. Mind your words. Mind your deeds. Because there comes a judgment. My brother, my sister, my friend. God makes it very clear in the book of Romans chapter 6 verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Lord Jesus. Accept Lord Jesus as your personal Savior and walk out of death and walk into life. Wisdom. In John chapter 14 verse 6, Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Without Jesus, we cannot Make into heaven. Receive Jesus as your personal savior. My brother, my sister, my friend, put your house in order. In Acts chapter 4 verse 12 we read that under the sun, no other name other than Jesus is given for salvation. In Romans chapter 10 verse 9 we read like this. If you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, from the dead, and if you confess the same with your mouth, you shall be saved. So be saved. In the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 38, God says like this, Repent and be baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. My brother, my sister, my friend, repent of your sins. Be baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of your sins so that you too can receive the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit will guide you, guide you into all truth and He will tell you the things which are yet to come. John chapter 16 verse 13 My brother, my sister, my friend, put your house in order. Stop taking life for granted because we never know when we may have to say goodbye to everything and everyone. My brother, my sister, my friend, God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Until we meet again, may God continue to be with you as well. Amen. Hallelujah.